think it's safe to say that it is officially final season. Last night I had my last class and I have one take home final so I'm trying to complete that today and then I can spend the rest of the week and weekend working um, on studying for my finals that I am so pumped for. This is me a brutal week. They're very uh, back to back. But then once my finals are over, I have a whole month break. So I'm so excited for that. I was trying to do the final this morning and I just, I can't focus at my house. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me to the library and we're gonna try to do the final there. I packed up my bag. I got all the essentials. I have my charger, my book, uh, my iPad, my computer. We got everything and I also brought an extra battery for my camera. Walking to Brecca to meet up with Kaya. As she promised me that I was more than all the miles combined, you must have had yourself a change of heart like halfway through the drive because your voice trailed off exactly as you passed my exit sign. Kept on driving straight and left our future to the right Now I am stuck between my anger and the blame that I can't face Memories or something even smoking weed cannot replace Now I'm terrified of weather cause I see you when it rains Doc told me to travel but there's COVID on the plane I went on a walk and I had a snack so now I'm ready to start studying It's currently 12.13 so let's get the studying going. So one of my finals is cumulative, meaning that everything I've learned this semester will be on the final, whereas my other finals are non-cumulative. So it's from the midterm to what we've learned now, which is so much nicer. It's usually around five chapters, whereas cumulative is around, it's actually, this my cumulative one is 10 chapters. So that's just amazing. So the first thing I'm gonna do Today is study a little bit on my cumulative final, which is uh, my business organizational skills class, which, come on, that can't be too hard. But I still just want to quickly review over everything, and then the night before I can um, go over it again. Or Pulling up that e-textbook. The textbook's called Developing Management Skills. My hardest class this year is definitely my uh, business law class. I'm taking international law right now. I cannot be the only one if you get a hold of people's first and last name in your class. I cannot be the only one that goes up immediately to Instagram and searches them up. Like, like sue me, but I'm going to be searching you up. <laughs> like, if there's someone cute in your class and you got their first and last name, so, brain break. Well, I really want to read my book. house now and we're getting we're gonna get ready and go over dinner. Okay, okay, 
Yesterday was Monday and I had two hospitality finals and today I don't have any finals. It's a study day today. What we're going to do uh, tomorrow at night around I think at 7 p.m. I have a business final and then Thursday I have a morning business law final. My business law final is the one that I'm most worried about so that's what we're going to be focusing on today. I'm gonna try to just like go over, read the textbook. I'm gonna try to like memorize the intercoms and some like the intellectual property and things like that. This is the setup we got going on. It is very, very messy. So I'm gonna clean it up and listen to an audiobook, take a little break, and then I'm gonna study. Hey guys, I am filming on my phone because I forgot my camera, I was going to bring it, but I am exhausted. So this morning I woke up as, okay, mm, let's bring it back. So I thought I had an exam last night, but I did not, I did not. I walked into the wrong classroom, the class was full of students. So I had my headphones on, my head down, I walk into the class. And it turns out that my exam is same place, same time, but today actually. Um, but I still had to wake up this morning. I had another business law exam at 8.30 in the morning, so I woke up at 6 to get a little bit of extra studying in before I headed out. I think that one went pretty good. And then I went home and I had a nap because I'm just exhausted. But right now, I'm going to the bookstore because I ran out of books to read. Surprisingly, this has never happened. I always have a TBR in my room. Um, so that's fun. I'm excited to pick up some new books. There's a few books I have on my mind. Um, and this is like a little treat. I am done three out of five of my classes. I'm so happy. Did I just back up park? Yeah, she did. Oh my god, my hair is looking crazy. Like, did I just wake up from a nap? Yes, yes I did. Um, I don't even know what kind of books I want. There's only one that I know I want, but I don't know if they're gonna have it. So let's hope they do. This is like a smaller bookstore. Let's go, let's go get some books. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, I was parked in a very busy area, so I moved because I could not do that any longer. I was kept trying to film, but people kept walking past my car. Anyways, let's do a book haul. Uh, I was in there for a good, like, felt like a good 20 minutes. Um, I couldn't decide, like, what to get, so I'll give you guys a haul. First things first, what I came for, and I got it, was The Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. I've never read, a, blah, blah, blah. I've never read one of her books, but I'm so excited. All I know is that it's enemies to lovers. That's all I know, and I'm here for that. You say that once, I'll pick up the book. The next one, I've never heard of this one, One, Itali one Italian Summer by Rebecca Serle. I don't know how to say that, but I've read um, one of her, I read her book in five years, and it was amazing. Definitely like one of my top books I've read this year. So I had to pick up another one of her books, and I'm really excited. Also, look, look how pretty the cover is. It's like so gold and cute. And I'm gonna start the Addicted to You trilogy. So excited for it. I think there's like 11 books in it, but I just picked up the first one just to like get a little feel of it, see if I like it. And then if I'm into it, I'll pick up the rest. And then the last but last but not least, the last one I picked up was Five Little Indians. Um, someone recommended this to me on TikTok and I saw it like right in the corner. I was like, oh my God. Um, so I picked this one up and I'm really excited to read this one as well. So that is my book haul. This, um, oh my God, I was just like feeling this. This feels like so nice. I like, like the feeling of this book cover. <laughs> Today's my last, I don't know, 
did I already talk about this? I don't even remember, but I have my last final today at 7 p.m. It's currently like two o'clock. I took a little nap because I woke up at six to study for my 8.30 a.m. exam. So now I'm gonna go home. Am I gonna study or am I gonna read? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll read for like a little bit. And then when it gets closer to the exam time, then I'll like study for like an hour. I just need to like review it. I'm pretty confident. I'm waiting for pairing. I'm going into the exam with confidence. So, yeah. Anyways, I think that's the highlight of this vlog is my book haul. For real. I haven't filmed a book review video. Like, I don't remember the last time I filmed one. But, I don't know. I don't like giving them just because I feel like I am a really bad person at like explaining things. We're just gonna drive in silence. Do I just like quickly like shoot my YouTube thumbnail here? Yeah. People are crossing the road in front of me. I'm like. <laughs> Watch me pose with my books. Why is, oh my, I was like, why is my music not playing? I forgot that I'm recording on my phone. Okay, I'm gonna listen to some music so I'm not sitting here in my thoughts. Hi.